honor Donald Trump's promise to build a wall between Mexico and the United States. But would that solve our immigration problems? In a special report tonight, KUSI's Dan Plant went to the border to find out. So something as simple as, as the whitewash on the, uh, the fence, you can see it's typically brown. It's one of the most dangerous places in America, the border between Mexico and San Diego. Some say build a wall and we'll be safe. Truth is, there is no wall and there never has been. I like to point out to people that the wall is a misnomer. It's a fence. Uh, we keep saying walls. Nobody builds walls anymore around prisons. That was all old school. Now it's all fences. A wall is ridiculously expensive. So I think when anybody says wall, I have to guess that they mean a fence. And it's a fence that's been growing, at least along the San Diego-Mexico border. So the fences are effective as long as you have the agents and the infrastructure to back it up. If you don't, then they'll be torn down quickly. If you spend some time with the Border Patrol, you'll find a complex formula to keep the border safe. It takes more than a fence. It takes people, a resource that is in short supply. We're about 2,000 agents below the level that Congress set to the minimum level for the Border Patrol. So manpower is becoming an issue throughout the United States. It's not a secret. Um, that's something that they need to fix. That's not the only thing that needs fixing. Even if thousands of agents were hired and every illegal is captured, the policy from the top is letting them go as fast as they are caught. When we ask people why they're coming here, the answer is invariably the same. And it's not the president. They actually say Obama said it's okay to come. So there's a belief that they will remain. And the belief is true. As a result of this belief or policy, immigrants detained in the U.S. are quickly released. As long as they claim political asylum, they are processed and let go on this side of the border. In a way, we're just a welcoming crew. We're a Walmart welcoming crew. Um, it's really disheartening to our guys to know we have control of the border, but all you have to do now is say you have a credible fear and you're going to be released. So no matter how many fences, cameras, or agents say the right thing and get a free pass back to the streets of the U.S. We're going to take them to the, uh, the trolley stop at the San Ysidro uh, trolley, and we're going to let them go. What you're looking at here is referred to as the Duncan Hunter Wall, the former congressman who worked very hard to get this up. In fact, it's made out of old military material that the military wasn't using anymore. Now I want to show you how close we are to Las Americas, the shopping mall down here. There is a third fence, however, to prevent people from going into the mall. But as you can see, they have their ways of getting over. The barbed wire is put there to keep them from going over. But you can see they stomped on the barbed wire and then they crawl over the fence. A couple of seconds later, there they are in the parking lot of the shopping mall. That is the only thing that prevents you from coming into the United States. Which is nothing. Which is nothing. Since then, another layer of fencing has been added, closing up huge gaps where people would simply walk into the United States. These days, some of those people are even scarier than the drug cartels. Not just one or two, but lots of people that mean harm to this country are slipping in. Everything from criminals to terrorists. In fact, we don't really know who's being caught and released. Many of these people work off of a script, and they say the magic words, asylum. Every day has to be by the hundreds, if not close to a thousand, every single day. In the end, it's a matter of politics from the very top. The message is out. One of the things we actually absolutely have to have is the President of the United States and the Secretary of Homeland Security to come out and say, look, this is a treasured system that's being abused. It's going to stop today. And that's a message that has been very slow trickling to the top. At the border, Dan Plant, KUSI News.